Hello YouTube and hello fellow simmers. I am Pinstar, aka the creator of the Legacy Challenge, here with part two of my strategy and tactics with getting started with the Legacy Challenge. So once again we are here with Sammy Smarty Pants and his um lovely attire. I guess that's what Smarty Pants look like, because they uh they don't look very smart. Um, and uh, today's episode is about getting him um, hooked up with a lovely bride uh, wearing this. I swear I just hit the randomize button. I didn't consciously choose this. Anyway, um, so yes, we are going to be uh, looking for love in hopefully all the right places. Uh, and I will show you how. Uh, because getting yourself a spouse really early on in your legacy challenge is key. Because that can be the quick solution to your financial woes. And be a catalyst to start working on generation number two nice and early. So, with that being said, let us get started. Um, so we have a couple of goals to meet before we, uh, before we do that. First off, we need to get ourselves, um, over here to, um, to the library and we are gonna go do some online dating. Now, online dating is not, I wouldn't call it 100% reliable, but it is a useful tool to do, especially in this situation where you want someone quick and also compatible. So um, we're um, we're gonna go ahead and make our profile here. Uh, well, no reason to be dishonest with it. Sammy's got some pretty darn good stuff to his name, so we'll go ahead and save that. That brings us a want to uh, browse the online dating profile, so we will do that and browse profiles like so. Okay, so this gives us a uh, cross-section of all the eligible bachelorettes in the neighborhood. And so we're going to go, uh, we're going to skip over the ones who are elders because we want uh, someone of breeding age. Um, if you are running with a, uh, a female founder, in this specific situation, they have a little bit more of, a, of an advantage because if they were doing the same thing with a bunch of men, they could go after the elder, uh, elderly men uh, because they could still uh, produce the second generation that way. But in our case, we need uh, some younger ladies here. All right, so what we are looking for is uh, women who have traits, or at least say they have traits, they, they can lie here, um, that, are, you know, that, that match ones that uh, Sammy has. So Jamie here, good traits, but doesn't have any matches. So we're going to skip her. Zelda. No, nope. Morgana. Ah, here we go. So artistic. That matches uh, Sammy's artistic. Um, and these others are pretty darn good. So we're going to send Zelda a message. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that with... Uh, uh, all the women in the neighborhood and basically send all the ones that have matching traits a message. Uh, to save you the time of watching me do this, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut right here and we'll be right back after we've uh, messaged all the eligible bachelorettes in the neighborhood. And we're done. We've uh, sent out about a total of four messages, so we'll uh, see if that bears any fruit. The other thing that popped up um, once you uh, browse the uh, profiles for the first time is this check out uh, online dating messages, which will be something we uh, do in, uh, in a day from now. For now, since we are sitting here at the computer, we're going to go ahead and play computer game, get our fun up so we can get our, um, our moods up here. The other thing we are uh, aiming to do here is we are trying to get ourselves uh, 5,000 lifetime reward points because there's a very important perk to be purchasing uh, when it comes to pursuing anyone. So until I get that perk, I'm not going to actually be pursuing anybody uh, or until I get um, uh, contact with um, uh, some of our dates. Okay, so we've got ourselves a maxed out fun score. So let's start working on uh, getting our uh, uh, getting our aspirations up here. So um, we have here learn the social so the social networking skill. So let's uh, let's practice that by sending out some texts. Easier to, easiest just to do it from their uh, pictures here. Fewer uh, fewer mouse clicks. And a picture. Oh, what the hey. Here's an awesome lamp. 
rocking that lamp. Okay, so we've got that done. Uh, another one that we need to do is let's do a cardio workout. Yeah, he, uh, he's feeling the need for some exercise, and that's fine. And he um, he does not yet have, despite being athletic, he does not yet have a point of athleticism to his name. So let's go ahead and get him one. He's, I think he deserves it. Uh, there's actually going to be a couple of benefits to getting him a point of uh, of athletic at this point, besides just uh, doing this, uh, do a cardio workout here. Um, he'll get that pretty uh, pretty quickly here. All right, and I'll uh, I'll let him stay on there until he gets that. And I'll show you uh, tomorrow at work. I will show you specifically why having uh, at least one point of athletic is a very good thing. So she should be getting that pretty soon. There we go. All right, well, reason number one getting that one point is it unlocks jogging. And by unlocking jogging, you unlock um, the occasional want to go jogging, which we're going to go ahead and promise. Now, going jogging is a blindingly simple thing to do. You don't need to have them literally run around the neighborhood. I could just say, go jogging here. And then the time it takes him to jog down the stairs and over here, it would have considered this fulfilled. Now, I'm going to keep this around as a quickie um, to refresh my fulfilled meter here. Um, but if I need to make room for something else, I can just have him jog around a little bit and that's, that'll be good enough. So you've got your one point of athleticism. We're going to go ahead and use this place for its free meals once again. Again, not getting that that moodlet, but we don't really need it. We're already in the top tier here, so we're already racking up the points. We're almost to 4,000, so we should have no problem hitting 5,000 by tomorrow, especially if he rolls up some good wants here. Okay, buy a washing machine. Nope. Come on. Yes! Okay, buy a shower. Excellent. Um, that is definitely a want we uh, we want to promise because um, with the amount of money that we have after that promotion, that's going to be a good thing to buy for him on his uh, thing. Again, we're just going to be slapping it on the lawn. Um, we're not going to be able to afford a proper bathroom, but at the very least, we can buy him something that's legitimately useful and still fulfill a want out of the deal. But in the meantime, since we are here at some superior showers, we might as well use the bathroom and hit the showers at a uh, at a place that has them. Okay. Well, I'm going to, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you over here to the, uh, to the park, just to stick your head over here so you can fulfill that, uh, that visit the park one. Um, there's no greeting card machine here. Uh, I'll save the roller skating, because there is a roller skating rink here. But in the meantime, we're going to send you home. And that did not reset the uh, fulfilled thing. So once that fulfilled uh, moodlet goes away, I will buy his shower. Um, and that'll, that'll reassert the fulfilled moodlet. In the meantime, I'm just going to have you go to sleep. Yes, I realize it is pouring rain. There might be lightning strikes. And here's this poor guy with just his bed um, in the middle of it. it was, have a willing suspension of disbelief for the moment. Um, Yes, any if you try to do this in real life, your bed would be promptly ruined. But um, we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, use the fact that 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 the game does not take uh, into account uh, material depreciation and just goes over, you know, value over time depreciation, to uh, get him some nice sleep despite the fact that he has no roof over his head. Um, the worst that happens to him is he gets the soaked moodlet for uh, six, minus six mood, and that's not gonna, that's not gonna be enough to uh, bring him out of his good mood. Now, he's also suffering the getting warm moodlet, which is actually a good thing because he has a chance for getting the suntanned uh, positive moodlet uh, once, uh, once he finishes his nappage here. What do we have here? Water balloon fight? Nah. Festival tickets? Nah. We've got plenty of good stuff already. Uh, let's, uh, let's recycle that. Oh, Ren, I completely forgot to buy him his shower, so let's do that real quick. Um, all right, so we're going to get you a shower. Put it right here, right there on the lawn, and we're going to have you take a shower. I know you're nice and squeaky clean, but you don't have the squeaky clean moodlet anymore. So by ha popping him back into the shower, we pick up that six-hour moodlet. And yes, now you want to cool down, and that'll be taken care of once you go to work. 
um, because it is, I guess it's assumed that the work is uh, air conditioned. And we'll pay our $8 bills. That's, uh, that's easy enough. And there's the car. Uh, we're going to have him, um, oh yeah, remember how I told you it was uh, useful to, um, to get, pick up that one uh, point of, the, of um, athleticism? That opens up the Use Workout Facility uh, option for work, which allows you to build your athletic skill while you're at work. Now, I'm going to do one more day's worth of chat with partner, just so we can get um, uh, Justine's uh, relationship up to max here. Uh, I, like I said, we, we, I, we already determined that she is actually married already, and I don't feel like being a home wrecker here. So, um, what do we have here? Art. Yeah, we can promise that. You're artistic, why not? Uh, I don't feel like being a home wrecker with him, so, uh, we're going to, uh, we're just going to leave that be and just let him be there. Um, see, the other thing to take note of here. Uh, so once we finish up our work, which actually our, our work progress bar should uh, be reach high enough. Oh, one other thing I wanted to point out with work. So he's getting hungry at work, but he, um, he does actually eat at work. Um, but here's the thing. He won't eat at work until he gets about halfway, maybe a little bit ha longer there. So if you send a sim to work starving without breakfast uh, and you're going to say oh they're just going to eat at work well that's true but they're going to go the whole mo morning uh, rocking that that hungry mood light which will probably tank their mood and hurt their performance um, so it's not uh, not necessarily the best thing to to do um, whereas if you send them to where they're about this level of hungry by the time they start actually getting hungry it'll be lunchtime and they'll get themselves max max food by eating lunch at work so it works out well for that. All right, so we have a want here to become best friends with Justine, which is good, because that should be a pretty, yep, 750 point want. That, uh, well, we're already at the 5,000 limit, so um, let's go ahead and buy the, uh, uh, the perk that I want to. So in my opinion, the one of the cheapest and yet most powerful um, rewards that you could possibly buy is observant. What the observant perk does is when you uh, talk to a sim in person, you it immediately reveals three of their five traits automatically without you even having to talk about anything related to those traits. That's extremely powerful for relationship building, both right now and in the long term. Uh, rather than tell you why it's powerful, I will demonstrate it. So we are going ahead and finish up our day. That should be enough to net us a promotion. No, we are not taking the car back to work because you want to go jogging? Why don't you go jogging over here to the library? That way we can free up a little space here in our uh, wants. And yes, we have ourselves a promotion. Huzzah. There we go, and that gives us that. Buy something worth at least. Well, we're going to fulfill this check online dating messages because that's the whole reason I sent them there. Check the messages. All right, all right. Well, I sent it to four people and they all accepted, so we're going to accept all of theirs. And once he finishes that action, that should finish that up. Meet someone online. We are about to do that. Uh, learn the painting skill. What's that? Seven. Oh, that is a pretty good one. All right. So here's what we're going to do to knock stuff out here. We are going to go to smartphone and we're going to call sim invite out. And what we are going to do is we're going to invite out all the people who uh, who uh, accepted us. So Aaron Kennedy, Morgana, oh not Muhammad, Sunny, and I must have she must have just turned elder because uh, she didn't have the white hair before. All right, and let's invite them. Oh, what the hey? Let's invite them to the gym. That's a fun place. 
Everyone will meet you there. Wow, okay. Usually you get some uh, random chances where uh, um, more, some people will uh, decline. Uh, either they, they're busy at work or they just don't have high enough relationship and they don't feel like it. So here we got, uh, we got everybody accepting. All right, so we've got Sunny. We'll see how honest they were with their, uh, with their traits. So Bachelorette number one, what are you into? And bachelorette number two. All right, have a great group outing? Sure. Yeah, we don't need to go to a lounge. All right, you can uh, go ahead and talk to him. Okay, well you're you're getting hungry. Oh yeah, what? Uh, so Sunny's traits, or at least a couple of her. Oh, I didn't learn anything from her. Maybe I have to talk to her. Did I not buy the observant? I did buy the observant. All right, enough of this. I am going to do a friendly uh, trait to actually since she's getting hungry let's uh, let's ask uh, let's ask talk to her so I can learn her traits okay so we've got ourselves um, in her uh, technophobe brave can't stand art mmm not looking so good so bachelorette number three Naren Kennedy nah not 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 feeling it um let's uh let's see what you got going here uh sunny so we're going to ask about uh let's going to ask about your career yeah you're they're they're hitting the trait incompatibility so yeah they're not uh okay you are an angler hang on an angler, a bookworm, ambitious and artistic. That's nice. Um, Sunny's looking pretty good. In fact, actually, I think I like that set of traits. So we're going to go with Sunny here. So here's here's how you um, sort of use um, the fact that we've learned these traits to our advantage. So by asking her... Um, so she's a bookworm and she's artistic. So that gives us two traits that we can really talk about. Um, we can talk about books. Even though we ourselves are not into books, we know that she's into books. And so that gives us the option to talk about books. So we're going to talk about books. And look at that. Double pluses. Double pluses. That's, that's what we're after, is those double pluses. So we're going to do... We're going to do that again. We're going to talk again about books more. And we're going to talk about books even or not. Where do you think you're going? You're going home. Okay, well, Bachelorette number two then. I guess you, by process of elimination, you, uh... Alright, I need to talk to you about your career. Okay, let's see what you got. Um, artistic, formally, uh, okay. All right, I think we got that. Um, all right, so let's try this again from the top. Hopefully you won't bail on me. Let's talk about art. Now, here's the other thing. So we asked her her career, and there's, uh, there's an important thing about that. Um, by learning her career, we can talk about medicine, which is her career. That also leads to double plus interactions. So by having a greater variety of double plus interactions, we've got talk about art, talk about career. Um, you can also, you might also find it as enthuse about. Um, she's also ambitious, which I think allows us to, yeah, applaud hard work. I think that's another double plus. But we've got all kinds of really awesome uh, double plus interactions that we can do with her. Um, they're not quite as, as fast as the enthuse abouts. Those are, those are the best. If you can get a bunch of enthuse abouts, those interactions go lightning fast. Um, but we are quickly building up our relationship with her, which is exactly what we want. Let's see if that... Oh yeah, applaud hard work works. Okay, so applaud hard work, and I bet you she'll uh, appreciate the announcement of a promotion since she is... Uh, um, that, uh, let's, um, 
let's do more uh, let's talk more about art and uh, talk some more about medicine you can probably get away about as long as you mix them up you can probably get about away with about three or four uh, uh, copies of it before they start getting bored about with it but we've actually hit what we were after so the combination of being a friend status, which is 50, uh, 50 relationship score higher, with uh, being uh, friendly um, in the uh, tone of the conversation, will open up Ask to Move In, which is what we're going to do for her. Sure, I just met you. Why don't you jump? Oh, Morgana, you went online dating and you're married, uh, assuming? Welp, I said I wasn't going to be a homewrecker, but I am going to be. But this is on you, Morgana. You are the one that was on the online dating site. So, yeah, we're going to have you move away from your husband. And uh, eventually you're going to be uh, going to be shacking up with me. Well, with, Sh with Sammy, anyway. So, uh, drama and infidelity in The Sims. What, uh, what else could you ask for? Well, 16,000 bucks or 15,000 bucks. That's not too, that's not too shabby either. So now we have ourselves a, uh, yeah, yeah, you are married and you went online dating. Shh, for shame. For shame, Morgana. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wolf, but, uh, she's mine now. Okay, so uh, in the next episode, we are going to uh, we're gonna all head on home. Because we, uh, we have some cash money right now, and uh, we're going to do something with that. And also, how old are you, Megana? Let me just double check that. Oh, you're plenty young. Perfect. So, um, and also, just to uh, allay any concerns about the Legacy Challenge and the rules, yes, we asked her to move in. Um, you're allowed to do that as long as the person who moves in eventually becomes the heir's um, one allowed spouse. So even though she is not romantically inclined or involved with him at this moment, she is eventually going to be. Um, and that's all within the rules of the Legacy Challenge. So we have ourselves a wife-to-be, um, and we have ourselves a lot of money in the bank. So in the next episode, we are going to cover some of the uh, some of my uh, house building design tips, uh, as well as bringing the uh, uh, the relationship uh, all the way up uh, to uh, uh, husband and wife, and getting her to break it off with uh, with her with her ex husband, who she clearly didn't really care much about if she was online dating. Uh, so uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Um, if you uh, you want to see more like this, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like, and most importantly, leave me a comment. Uh, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this is Pinstar signing out. Have a good one, everyone.